We begin tonight with reaction to a scathing Auditor General's report on Yellowknife's Stanton Territorial Hospital project. The report says the project went hundreds of millions of dollars over budget. Canada's Deputy Auditor General presented the report. He says he's perplexed by the decisions reached by the government of the Northwest Territories. Some NWT MLAs expressed the same sentiment in the Legislative Assembly today. Perplexed is a good word, because if you were listening to the government at the time, you would have been told everything was fine. Mr. Speaker, I used to call this a billion-dollar hospital, much to the chagrin of the health minister of the day, who insisted it was a cool $600 million. Well, Glenn, turns out I was right. $1.21 billion, 62 per cent over budget. This is the most expensive capital project in the history of the territory. Our current ministers should not be blamed for the financial mess created by past government, especially Minister of Finance of the day, it was Michael Meltenberger. Mr. Speaker, our people are going to be the ones left paying for the increased cost of this project. The new Stanton Territorial Hospital in Yellowknife opened in 2019. It was the territory's largest infrastructure project to date. It was built using a public-private partnership, or a P3 model, and it was projected to cost $750 million. Instead, as you heard, the price tag came to $1.2 billion. Another finding in the report is that the GNWT is now paying rent in the old hospital building, a building still owned by the GNWT. Jane Whale and Armstrong pressed the NWT's infrastructure minister about the decision in the legislature today. Can the minister explain why the government decided to sublease the old Stanton building? at an increased cost of $78.6 million. The opportunity that arose to sublease the building was later in the procurement process. And this has been some of the challenge with the audit is that there were multiple stages to what occurred from back in 2013 when the project first originated up to uh, the last stage of that project, which is when that decision was made to sublease. Uh, at that point in time, there was this opportunity because the investment that was being made by one of the partners to uh, decommission, renovate, uh, you know, clean up um, that, that old building, that involved a significant amount of investment and their intent was that they would lease that out to recoup the significant cost to do that. Uh, when they were ready to do that, Mr. Speaker, the Department of Health and Social Services was also looking at that time for an opportunity to put a long-term care facility somewhere. Uh, they did do an analysis on the cost per bed. Uh, I'll remind you, the Mr. Speaker, that this was after COVID when costs of building and constructing new things had gone up. Uh, the cost per bed was uh, quickly realized would be cheaper at the legacy building than our uh, Ligwagoti building than what it would be elsewhere and so the decision was made to pivot and to to utilize that facility. The Auditor General estimates that the Stanton project will cost 1.21 billion dollar over the next 30 years. Can the minister explain how the territory will pay the increase in cost? The Auditor General was bringing together what for us is the P3 project which is the Stanton hospital as well as the Ligwagoti building which is where the long-term care facility and now primary care are housed. So uh, this, this has been a conversation that I've had with the Auditor General's Office uh, of Canada that does our audits over the course of many years. Uh, we do not see, as the government of Northwest Territories, the two projects as being one P3. That does seem to be how the math was come down here. Again, I'm you know, far be it for me to, to be the auditor on the floor, Mr. Speaker, but uh, those two projects, from our view, are separate. They're both delivering health care services. We will, of course, prioritize to ensure that health care services continue to be delivered. And there's a lot of work happening in that space to make sure that we're delivering the right services in the right way at the right cost. Uh, and, and as that evolves in both of those facilities, we'll continue to make sure residents are being served. Thank you.